Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love MMA as much as I do. You know, um, I see where John Jones says he's ready to become friends with Daniel Cormier. I think it's a great move for both guys. Here's the thing. They they both have such they've had such an impact on the sport outside of the rivalry. They clearly were the two best light heavyweights in the world at one point. You know, I know John was better than Cormier, but I think John Jones would even admit and say, hey, if I had to avoid fighting somebody for the first time in three years, I wouldn't fight Daniel Cormier because Cormier is a guy that could beat me because he knows me very well. And it might not be my best performance, especially Cormier. If he was fighting, he's active. I wouldn't want to mess with a guy like that after three years. Not to say he won't fight him if the money's right or anything like that, but you'd rather have a warm-up fight or a guy uh, stylistically more beatable, if that makes sense. I think there's a lot of respect between those two. I don't see why they can't be friends. I really don't see why. You know, they made a lot of money together. They headlined some pay-per-views. They're both legends of the game. Both guys that no regular guy would want to put their hands on or disrespect. <laughs> you know, so I think they should become friends. You know, I do think even without the steroid controversy, here's the thing. I'm not, in my last video, I did say John Jones is not a cheater. I'm willing to say he's not a cheater because the, the MMA and, college, and football and a lot of sports, you do use performance enhancing drugs. That's just what it is. All right. So if he did, the chances are a lot of them did too. Does that mean that they suck? I'd say no, because a lot of fighters, a lot of sports athletes, people do it. That's what it is. That's why they're so darn big and strong and fast and perform so well. Now, obviously, you need a lot of talent. Here's the thing. John Jones didn't knock out Cormier because of power. He has talent, and he's very good strategically. He has a lot of heart when he fights. So that has nothing to do with performance-enhancing drugs. All right? He does have a strong desire to be a good athlete, to be a great fighter, and all those things. So, outside of the steroid thing, I still think he was better than Daniel Cormier. Who all knows? Never know. Daniel Cormier might have been doing something, too, that we don't know about. You know, a lot of people can cover up drug tests for somehow. I don't know how that works, but that's just my opinion. <coughs> so, I got no problem with that. I think Cormier and Jones should give each other a big hug after the fight that John Jones has with Cyril, which I think he's going to lose. Uh, that's just an opinion. I'm a huge John Jones fan. John Jones fan. Didn't mean to say his name wrong. Um... I think they should shake hands or do something. They should probably get together and get some dinner, win or lose for John Jones, talk about not start over, but show each other some respect. I think that would be really good for those two. And I think they should, you know, it's over, you know, both legends, both great. One was better than the other, but both guys that command so much respect in MMA. And really, to be honest with you, in 2014, 2015, I was going through some hard times. You know what? put a smile on my face and kept me alive and wanted to find finer things in life, those two fighting. They're entertaining. The trash talk they had, the good fights they had. Yeah, much respect to both guys, man.